Coach Anderson, how are the travels in today? Smooth. Smooth. Everything was nice and easy. Flight was quick and uh, got out of Indianapolis right on time. So it's all good. Weather was horrible there, so it's nice to come to somewhat sunny skies. It's about 100 degrees in this building right it's now. Warm. It's it is real warm. warm. Yeah. Uh, you know, I was talking to Pete Yates. It, this is kind of Pete's brainchild because he came out of Georgia and, you know, he didn't really get recruited. But, you know, now the guy was a two time All American. And right. in talking to him, you know, he couldn't tell me the specifics, the intangibles. What are you guys looking for when you come down here to C3, you know, the compound, college combine? What are you looking for as a college coach in an athlete, in a student athlete, when you're looking recruiting here? Yeah. Now, I mean, we obviously have to start at Wabash. we got to start with the academics first. So it's, it's cool that we can come here and really see, first and foremost, where they stand academically in the classroom. And then once you get past that, you can really start seeing where they can, where they can fit in. You know, a lot of kids always, they want the big, you know, D1 level, but you'd be surprised at how many of those kids, whether they, they go there and don't succeed. Uh, we just want more exposure of Wabash because the level of wrestling in D3 is, is enormous right now. Uh, a lot of D1 guys are dropping into it because it's just a better fit for them. So, um, you know, we're looking for guys that, that know where they want to be five years down the road. Once wrestling is done, they want to know that they're secure and they're going to go on to big things in whatever career they go into. So, you know, to come here, it's just more exposure for us. You know, it's Wabash in, in Georgia and you're always looking for those, those hidden gems that you know, either don't get recruited hard, but they want a, a high-level wrestling, college wrestling program that's going to give them a degree that's going to set them up for life, and that's what Wabash is. You know, we talk like it's like we focused on your amazing facilities, but right. your academics are, are Ivy League. Yeah, no doubt about it. No it's incredible. It. How do you, you know, when you look at someone's transcripts, is that like something where, man, we could get this guy, but... Right. Yeah, I mean, you don't want to bring a kid in that's going to struggle and, and uh, it's going to be so much on them you got to find the right kid, and, and Wabash isn't for everybody, but when you find those kids that can see, succeed in the classroom and, and they're, they're go-getters on the mat and they want to prove something in college wrestling, then Wabash is a great place. Um, I always say it's the, the best small school education in the country, but also on the other side, you, you get that D1 feel on the wrestling side because that's where our program's at. You saw our facilities, um, the support's there, uh, so it's, it's a great marriage academics and wrestling you can do them both and you can get pushed both ways you guys are gonna have to you know really grab some some guys who people may not know about here coming up in the future because sure. you know the, the task at hand of Augsburg and Warburg it, it's it's a Herculean effort it's gonna take that from you guys yeah. you you've got the roadmap you've been there over a decade 13 years I yeah. believe how do you catch those guys with your academic standards are so high you've got the facilities it's right there it's ready to happen where is the roadmap take you from here I don't know. I mean, you know, two years ago, I mean, we, we took Augsburg out at national duels pretty easily. And, um, you know, the, the difficulty for us is is we can't reload as fast as them at times just because of the different hurdles that we have. Stronger academics, tougher to get in, more expensive at times. Um, you know, everything else, we probably trump them. Facilities, support, budgets, things like that. So I mean, it's it's just you know we got to work somewhat like an Ivy League school. We got to get out there faster and harder and recruit kids earlier in the process to really get them to know Wabash and get them buying in sooner. Because Wabash isn't a place that a kid's just going to say, "Yeah, I think I'll go to Wabash." I mean, he's he's got to know it uh, two years earlier, you know, and really learn more and more about Wabash. But yeah, I mean, I think any, any D3 school in the country is chasing those two. I would say more Warburg than Augsburg right now because they they're rolling. Um, they're rattling off championship after championship, but um, you know, I, you know, it's not a discouraging thing. I mean, it's hard to win a trophy anywhere in, in NCAA wrestling, and we've just rattled off three in a row. So, not exactly where we want to go, but it's we're right there in the, in the hunt every year, and it's going to take a special group of guys to get it done. You already ran through a Lefevre family that yeah. put so many points, uh, you know, at the NCAA tournament for you. Obviously, you know. The, the, the twins, right. both national finalists, and then Riley, you know, I mean, it, it's incredible, but um, how do you find something like that again? And is that something that's just a life once in a lifetime thing? You're from Fort Wayne, they're from Fort Wayne, it kind of right. just worked out. Right. How does that work out? You know, I you know I hope it's not the, the last time that I get a group of, of brothers like that, because that, uh, it was a special time, and it was a special group, and a ton of fun to coach. and. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's just like doing this. I mean, maybe I trip into those twins in Georgia, who knows, you know, but you're constantly scouring to find good
good kids that, that fit Wabash the right way and they're, you know they're going to succeed because they're still so hungry for the sport of wrestling. And, um, you know, it's, it's a constant search and I, I mean, it goes for any coach in the country. To find guys like those, they're hard to find and uh, we just got to keep looking for them. You know, I look at um, where you guys are with your camp system. It's incredible. Thank you. I'm getting calls from coast to coast about it. Good. What, you know, what, I, I want to see all the technique. This is amazing. How do they get all these guys? Yeah. How have you built that that system? How you've built it? It's incredible. I saw it firsthand. Right. I mean, everybody who watched my video saw it was firsthand. Right. How do you continue to build off that? And how did you get where you are with as far as, you know, we talk about how your program is where it is. Sure. How do you get your camps like that? Yeah, I mean, it's just, it's, I don't want to go hustling, but shaking bushes, but I mean, it's been a building process. That, that camp was year 12 or, no, it was, yeah, it was year 12 this year. So, I mean, over a decade of, of building something and branding things and getting information out and, and truly, probably more than anything, just word of mouth. You know, once people really see what we're doing there and who's coming to that camp and what they get out of it, it's a no-brainer. And we're cheaper than almost all the other big big school camp so we keep it affordable we got great facilities we bring in the best in the country and outside the country uh, with this year and um, and they get they get just as many duels as if they went to Disney duels so it's um, you know it's a great thing I think we've pieced it together so it's not your typical team camp it's a it's a full-blown technique camp and you get the, that team camp aspect with 10 to 12 duels in a five-day period